Hi, soulmates and twin flames. This is a pick a card reading. I am using these decks and I'm going to do a channel message. And <clears throat> um, I did actually shuffle these decks and then turn these over and they actually both had four wands on the bottom of the deck. So I just wanted to point that out as an overall energy. So we'll get to shuffling and then you can pick your pile. Um, this reading is for deep soulmates and twin flames. That's who I channel for. That's the <clears throat> messages that come through me. I tend to channel for divine masculines energy. Um, and I just can tell from what I'm feeling right now is that they are on their way to stability. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you find it, it is going to be right for you. <clears throat> um, there does look like that they want like a passionate stability right now. The top was two of cups, so that was just from this shuffle. Um, I do want to say if you want a private reading from me, I can do a two or three question private reading or I can do a relationship spread for you, which is my own um, created spread, which does go over the thoughts, feelings, actions, and likely next moves or relationship outcome. You can email me on Fiverr. I also have Twin Flame and Soulmate gigs on there that you can check out, the links below. And I am ooh, doing a Patreon um, where I will be doing like teachings and readings and all sorts of things. Four pentacles fell out, so we're going to keep that. Lots of fours here. We want stability. We want a grounded passion. We want energy to move, but also be more consistent and reliable. That's what your masculine is seeking right now. They're seeking to have a reliable... I do get the sense that they know that they've come at you quite a bit and that you're tired. The feminines are tired. I do use the pronouns he and she. So take it as it resonates for you as the counterparts. I kind of get a four of swords energy for um, the female. For the male, I get the four of wands and the connecting energy is the four of pentacles. You're both very guarded. You both don't know what's going to happen next. This was the feeling that I get. Some of you may want to pick two piles in this um, reading. And Seven of Pentacles fell out. <laughs> so they do want you to really examine right now where it is you're putting your energy. What you're investing your time in, what you're investing your money in. Is it worth, is it a worthy reflection of you? That's what they want you to ask. Are the results going to be what you want to see in your life?
There'll be four piles. So this is the card that was on the top when we started manifesting miracles is the overall energy. All right, here's our four piles. Let's go ahead and get started. That's pile one. I know if I put them over here, I'm going to forget where they are, but we'll do it anyway. All right, so you, three of pentacles, five of cups, the moon, king of wands, four of wands, so interesting. Them, magician, hierophant, emperor, ace of pentacles, we only got four, let's take one more. Five of wands. Connecting energy, financial constraints, victory, community, envy, attachment, security, integrity, and emotions are a natural necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision in order to see things clearly, you must go, let go of resentment. Okay, so I do get the sense that somebody is very very much holding back their feelings um even though i do feel like actually i feel like you're both holding back your feelings you're both feeling hurt all the cards are in the upright so this is great um you seem to be feeling very sad and suffering a loss. Either you felt like you were going to start building with them and then hidden information came out and it looks like you may have gone with someone else or they may be returning to you. Because you do have this King of Wands showing up. Your person is presenting as the Emperor. So... This King of Wands is looking at the past and the Magician, which is quite a powerful combination. I get the sense that you are in a bad money situation, perhaps, and you're trying to rely on your friends and kind of what's what you built up in the past to build up more of your security but you both are holding on to these um especially you but them too at this stuck energy of sadness they seem to have manifested something that they want but they're not showing you anything Let's clarify the hair font. The plans are to move forward. Clarify the emperor. It does look like they have a decision to make though, perhaps about which way to go. They may be still in the planning stages. But it looks like the planning is, yeah, they know who you are. They know, they know. They're just not ready to start building. I do think that they've moved out of their mind and into actual grounded movement, as I stated in the opening. Um, opening message they're trying to go about this in a very integrative way 
they want victory with you, but they are, something is making them be in this lack energy, this envy and financial constraint energy. Oh, wow, look at that, chariot in reverse. So heavy mirroring here. Maybe you don't know which way to move forward. Maybe you're giving them mixed signals. Maybe you're just not sure what you want yet. Is you may be hiding a page of wands. Wow, ten of pentacles, ten of cups. So you do want this, you do want this happily ever after. Um, You still may be involved in your ex, but you may be playing around, trying to control the situation. Your person's coming back around. So it does look to me like your person will be coming back around with this chariot energy and you're not positive you want them to. Spirit wants you to be in your integrity and wants you to know that you two are both equally attached to each other. They do see that this is true love and you are dreaming of something. I mean, four of wands, 10 of pentacles, 10 of cups. You do want to build with someone. I just don't think you know who you want to build with yet. And you may have someone on the side. Um, you may be keeping secrets from them or playing games, but Spirit's saying that it is time for you to be authentic and, you know, there is quite a bit here of letting your friends help you if you need to, but you need to let this situation unfold and you need to figure out what's worth your time and money and investing and what it is that you wanna end up with here because I mean, you may be walking away from this King of Wands, but I get the sense that this is what you're looking for and you don't think your person can provide it for you. And Spirit's saying, you know, it's not all about the money. There may be conflict also that just you just can't get away from. But they are coming to offer you an Ace of Pentacles offer. Make sure it's the offer that you want before you move forward. And uh, that's what I have for you. They do feel true love for you. And you may need to take the time to get your um, money and security in order before you get really attached to this person or move forward and make this official because there is some conflict here. This will create, you know, this will create some issues that need to be dealt with if you decide to move forward on it. All right. Pile two. I pile two. Let's see what we have for you. Wow, four of wands again. Pile one also had their person had uh, five of wands, five of swords, four of wands, five of swords. Okay, so. You may be just deciding to work on yourself and not talking to anyone right now. You know, you have a mirrored six of cups here in the same position, which is fascinating. Seven of swords, they may be being a little bit sneaky, but you make them very happy. A lot of similar energies to pile one. Um, I'm not reading these in reverse right now. 
So your person's being deceptive. Seven of Swords and Deceit and the Moon. They will be taking action towards you. Although right now they seem to be looking at, to the past. You both may be being quite nostalgic. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So I get the sense that you may be more grounded than your person, but they do want to be stable with you and they do, you make them very happy. They recognize that this is a soul connection and I do get the sense that they're sorry if they deceived you, but it still may be going on. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Clarify the King of Wands. They're working through karma right now to move forward into this Four of Wands. Yeah, it's being divinely guided. Nine of Swords. It does look like they're having some sort of spiritual awakening here. All right, clarify Eight of Wands. One of you feels trapped in a relationship. Look at High Priestess mirrored. You think that telling your truth is going to create conflict. You can't make a decision. Oh, and we have counterparts here, King and Queen of Wands. This is definitely twin. Okay, Seven of Wands. And you have Mirrored Sun energy with Temperance on the bottom of the deck. So heavy mirroring going on here and a lot of divine guidance. You're not following your intuition as much as your person is. You may be triggering your person very strongly right now. I do get the sense that they are both connected to spirit and earth. They are channeling a lot of energy through them. So, you know, have compassion for them. They're ending this karmic cycle. So forgive. Spirit wants you to forgive. And they're saying right now may not be the best time to talk about this because you may see things differently when the world turns. <clears throat> Well, it came up in reverse. Express yourself, flirt, retreat, codependency, unrequited love. Your person definitely has romantic feelings for you if you're wondering. They see you as a counterpart. They know they made mistakes in the past. They know that they didn't take this seriously. And when you did express yourself, they may have mocked you or made you feel like somehow put you down. So forgive them for that if they did that. Right now, they're working on their higher self and their intuition being guided. And they do know that there's something going on here. I do think this full moon brought some, uh, there's a lot of moon energy here, brought some of this to their attention. And they're just wondering now 
is this what I think it is? Do I make them as happy as they make me? Can they forgive me? Can I move forward? Can we move forward? Can we have four of wands? Does this person want to be my queen? So they're asking a lot of questions. They don't want to be in pain. And part of what they were doing was causing them to be in pain and causing you to be in pain. And therefore, they want to move out of that energy. They want like a clean slate, even though the fool energy isn't here. You may be doubting yourself because of what's happened between you and the words that they spoke. They may be, you both may be quite impetuous sometimes. Um, and they regret that. But this isn't going to change overnight. Um, so keep at it. Keep. Right now, I don't think you should express yourself um, until you feel like the wheel is turned and this karmic energy has been dealt with. And then you can move forward. All right, pal two, I hope that helps you. And pile three, 2142. Hi, pile three. Well, there's our Four of Swords energy. That's what I was feeling from the introduction. Lots of fours. I think every pile's had a four. And so... Your person, do you get the sense that this is a little bit more um, down the line? Like you two maybe have been dealing with each other for a longer period of time. There is three people in this. I do get the sense you possibly are going through a divorce or a breakup. You're very wounded from these relationships and you're just resting now. You want a little bit of spiritual peace. You may be just walking in your own energy. You both may be feeling like you're sick of waiting for this to happen. You may be focusing on money and just your transformation. But essentially, you know that you two belong together and you two may be just friends at this time um let's clarify so they are considering moving on their plans to create this ten of pentacles with you i think they don't feel quite worthy of your cup yet and trying to get to the place where it can be an equal give and take three of wands no movement yet it does appear that they're waiting for the end of another relationship they haven't done as much spiritual work as you or they don't understand it. They feel intimidated by it. They feel intimidated by your power and happiness in yourself. Possibly your money also. They too may have a karmic relationship that they're dealing with. They are trying to be strong for you, which is good to see. What am I looking for here? All right, I'll clarify the nine of wands. You both are trying to be strong. I think you're both putting up brave faces for the sake of your friendship. But you want something more and 
I do think that this breakup kind of rocked your root chakra. I do think it was probably not a good relationship and you're happy to get out of it because <sighs> perhaps your spouse or our partner was controlling and very abusive to you. And you just don't have what it takes right now. So you are kind of waiting. Yeah, you're waiting and your money situation is not good. Your heart is hurt and you want it to heal. So let's find out what's gonna happen here. So you're waiting and I do think your person is sick of waiting. Your person wants to move forward, but stay optimistic, trust, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. You deserve love and free yourself. And again, romantic feelings. Okay. If you two are just friends, they do have romantic feelings for you. They are watching and waiting for you to understand that you deserve love and to talk to them about your feelings for them. I do get the sense that they know you have feelings for them. Um, and they want you to step into your power. They <clears throat> have been waiting for you, if you are already there, to really invest in yourself and to demand what's yours from this relationship or situation you're getting out of. They want you to move into a more positive vibration. I do get the sense they want you to really, you know, you are their wish for fulfillment. They see you in a very high light. They want you to fully embody that light that you have. And <clears throat> if they are with another person, they're really not interested in them anymore. They really have been looking to get out of that situation for quite a while. Maybe you two talk about that. Maybe you two will move away together or become spiritual partners first, as in join a church or a spiritual community where you can learn and grow together. <clears throat> my throat is really closing up so I know one of you is not talking and not being comfortable to talk but there truly is a lot of romantic loving feelings you're just very wounded right now so you need to take the time to repair whatever the fallout was from this past relationship it even if you're younger could be from your family and make sure that you're in the position to carry this weight of such um, a spiritual union, right? So spirit wants you to really work on your abundant mindset, your security and your intuitive connections and really get into a place where you feel this energy um, and your person needs to do that too. It's a mirrored energy where they can feel like they can support this relationship. And I don't just mean in a monetary way, um, intimately and on all levels, spiritually. Okay. I hope that helped you, Path 3. That was a beautiful reading. There's a lot of love in this relationship. And... Um, Spirit is wanting you two to work together, which is unusual. So that's, you know, work together on your, um, on yourselves, which is beautiful. And that can happen for you if you make that choice. So, all right, Path 4. Hi, Path 4. See what we have here hermit seven of cups Oof, nine of cups in reverse strength only four cards okay maybe we don't want that one <laughs> um it's 
Seven of Pentacles, the Devil, Ace of Cups, Queen of Swords, and Page of Swords. Mm. And then you have six connecting cards. <sighs> Seven of Pentacles. So we do have this mirrored energy here. And four of Pentacles. A lot of denying feelings here, a lot of closed and hidden. There's nothing really being expressed to each other. We are both in quite a bit of reflection, I would say. Although your person may be coming forward soon. For this pile, I do get the sense that there is perhaps have been very little communication or even telepathic communication. I just get a very a stillness. All right, clarify the hermit, the lovers. Choice may have caused you deep introspection. And you just may not have gotten the offer that you wanted. They may have given you a lot of talking, but no actual offer. And Yeah, there may also be a divorce in this pile. <sighs> Trying to decide where to invest. I don't feel like you have felt well received by this person. They may be healing from past relationships or even current relationships that are breaking apart. They may have just come to you with no emotions, but also a lot of passion. There's another four we have. Yeah, two justices. So some karmic balancing is happening with, I believe, a karmic relationship. And them trying to become the king of cups. It's a very heavy burden that they're ready to lay down. Connecting energies. This is actually in reverse, even though. So you're both trying to, another Libra card. So your advice is to surrender. You have to surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. There's a lot of passion here and romance and I get the sense that it was all very hot and heavy, right? Until they just left your life and perhaps went back to a karmic and cut you off, tried to pretend like it was all happy and, but it wasn't, it's not, it's still not. 
And I do think that they are working on becoming the King of Cups, but you're going to have to decide where to invest your time right now. <clears throat> because you may be just feeling very drained from this whole situation. This cup, the divine's trying to hand you a gift right now. And you feel very out of balance. You feel very, yeah, very unserene, that's for sure. So let's get advice here. Your person may come forward to say something to you soon. You both have nine of cups in reverse. Yeah, you're both not happy without each other, honestly, but you need to be, you need to find a happiness within yourself. I'm sorry, that's a cliche message and I hate saying it, but that's what it's, let your friends help you. It's safe for you to love. Healing family issues, true love, and worth waiting for. So, of course, I don't ever advise waiting. Nobody should wait um, because life is going on and you need to move forward. It does look like you have some family issues to work on. They have family issues to work on. And <clears throat> doing so will help you open your heart to this true love. You do look like you have support around you, and if not, there is a spiritual community that will help you, but you, the most important thing, I believe, is to surrender, surrender to what the divine is trying to bring you in your life, and to feel, to get into that part of yourself where you can feel safe in, in loving again. Because there is this discarded four, four of pentacles type energy here where they're carrying a burden and you're not healing and you're seeing yourself as the cause of a burden somehow. And I do think that's what stems from childhood for you. If you constantly <clears throat> are saying like, I'm, tr I'm, I'm, it's, I'm too much trouble, I'm a burden, I'm not worth it. Even in like subtle ways that you can't really grasp, um, look for that pattern in yourself where you make the excuse for someone not to do something for you or not to be included because you feel like you're too much of a burden because that's what's being mirrored, mirrored here. Um, your worthiness issues that stem from childhood need to be addressed and that you are not a burden, that you are worth it, that you people do understand like they should take the time to do the work for this relationship because it is valuable and you are valuable. I hope that helps you path for um, a lot of love to you and I will talk to you next time. Bye.